Hey guys, it's Coach Trina and Coach Nick here with Friction. I am going to talk about our workout for today and Coach Nick is going to demonstrate everything for you. Um, so for the warm up, we're gonna go three times through, five per leg on a split squat, five per leg on a back scale hinge, and then a 30 second plank. So what that's gonna look like um, for that split squat, you'll take a lunge position, one leg is out in front, one leg's behind, back knee is gonna touch the ground, then we're gonna stand all the way up where both legs are extended, and then tap that back knee back to the ground. So do five per leg there, then we're gonna go five per leg on a back scale hinge. With that back scale hinge, arms are out to the side, we're taking one leg, bringing it um, out to the body like so, and then um, keeping our back nice and flat. So the chest will drop towards the floor, the back leg will come up. Um, then after that, you guys have 30 seconds in a plank. So arms fully extended. We're looking for a hollow body position at the top. Um, we're stacking the shoulders over the wrists, so we're slightly leaning forward. We're tucking our rib cage down to our belly, keeping the core nice and tight. Um, three times through with that. After you guys are done, your mobility today is going to be a minute per side in a um, box hamstring stretch, child's pose, left side and right side. And then we're going to go a minute in up dog. Um, for that box hamstring, um, we're going to use a chair for this today. Same idea as the box, but one leg goes on. That leg that's on the box is nice and straight. You're bending at the hips, trying to get that chest down to your thigh, reaching that arm forward, feeling the stretch in that hamstring. Um, if you guys don't have something to prop your leg up on, you can just go with a pike stretch, a standing forward fold, so just hinged and uh, touch, your, touch your toes, just like that. Um, then we're going to do child's pose, a minute to the left, a minute to the right. So for child's pose, get down, um, knees will be apart, feet will be together. We're going to reach those arms forward, we'll reach them um, to the left and to the right, my apologies. We're looking for a stretch throughout the lats. Um, after that, one minute and up dog. So what you'll do is you'll drop those hips to the floor, legs are out long, we're looking up to the ceiling, stretching out that lower back and the, abdom the um, abdomen. Cool. That's your warm up, that's your mobility. For your Metcon today, guys, we have a 25 minute AMRAP, so a little bit of a long one today. Um, so keep that in mind as you go through it with AMRAPs, you know, um, especially when they're a little bit longer like this, you wanna make sure you can uh, find a pace and stick with it and maintain that pace throughout the rest of the workout. So it's gonna be a 200 meter run, 10 kettlebell deadlifts, and then 10 V-ups. So uh, for that run, uh, mark it out in your neighborhood, 100 feet down and back, or 100 meters down and back. Um, kettlebell deadlifts, you have 10 of those. Uh, RX is gonna be 70, 53. Recreational is going to be 35, um, 53.35 and then lifestyle will be 35.18. So for the deadlifts, if you have a kettlebell, use it. If you don't, um, we have a dumbbell today, so we'll show you how to do that with a dumbbell. I know a couple of you guys have rented barbells from the gym, so uh, feel free to use a barbell for this workout. So you'll go out for your run 200 meters and you're gonna come inside. You'll start with that dumbbell on the ground. Uh, one head's gonna touch the ground. Coach Nick is gonna keep a very flat back while, while he's doing this. He's gonna push the knees back and um, pick the dumbbell up. So it's gonna go from the ground all the way to a standing position. Things to keep in mind while we do a deadlift is we want the back to stay nice and flat. We wanna maintain that lumbar. Um, and you should feel it in the hamstrings working. V-ups are after that, 10 of those. So you'll start laying down on the ground. You're gonna snap your hands to your feet. Um, it's kind of similar to like a toes to bar is the, the way to go about that. If you guys need a progression for the V-up, Coach Nick, if you actually lay back down for me real quick and put your legs all the way up to the ceiling and then just take your hands and reach up and touch your toes, you guys can do these instead or um, we'll just go to a regular sit-up. So for that, what you'll do is sit down on your back, butterfly the feet, hands will go behind your head and touch the ground. Once those shoulders come over the hip crease, you're gonna touch your toes or the ground in front of it for the standard, and that is your sit-up. Um, so kind of talked about the stimulus a little bit with that already. Uh, it is a long AMRAP, so find a good pace, try to stick with it. Um, unbroken on your movements at 10 and 10. And uh, for rent today, we're gonna go a minute per side in a Samson stretch and then a two minute in a pike stretch. So for that Samson stretch, what you'll do is come into a lunge position. Arms are gonna come overhead. You'll interlock the fingers. You're looking for an overhead stretch as well as a stretch in the hip flexors, the quads, that lower body too. And then your last thing you guys have is a two minute pike stretch. 
Um, really take two minutes on this stretch. That will be um, about the time it takes for those lower body muscles to actually relax. So uh, with this one, think chest to thighs. You'll start with a little bit of a bend in the knees. And then as you relax throughout this stretch, those legs should start to straighten out a little bit. Um, take time, breathe through it. And um, that's all we got for you today, guys. So have a fun workout, enjoy it, and we will see you tomorrow.